Hi, welcome to everyone. I am Abraham and in this tutorial, I will guide you how to make a database in Android Studio for Android handset. Go to your browser and go to sqlite.org and then go to the download and then go to this source code SQLite amalgation okay with the zip file click on that and then in a moment it will start downloading so in my case it has started downloading okay so once it is downloaded it will unzip for me and if you have not unzip it in my case it is already unzip automatically for me by the system but if you do if your system has not unzip for you so you have to do it manually and then here you will have four i mean two header file and two source code file okay so what we need to do we need to move this four items to our android studio so how do we do it okay as of now let me minimize this and here is my android studio ready okay click on the start new android project and then scroll down here you should have native c plus plus click on that and click on next and then just give a name to your app okay sqlite test in my case okay and then give package name as per requirement and from here by default it selects kotlin or if it is kotlin select java okay and then this is your minimum sdk and click on next and from here i'll be selecting c plus plus 11 for this project then i'll click on finish if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like share and hit the bell icon for latest notification on the video that i upload okay after that we'll close it and we'll wait for a moment for our app to get ready okay here it is complaining me with the ndk so for that you will have to go to before that i want to let you know that when you install your Android Studio, by default it doesn't install for you NDK. Okay, for that you have to go to Preference. Okay, and then in the SDK tool, you have to select this will be unchecked. So you have to check this, you have to check NDK, and then you have to check CMA. Okay, and then you have to apply, then okay, then it will download for you and install for you. So now this is complaining so I have to select a part for NDK and for that I will go to file and then go to project structure and then go to SDK location and here you, under Android NDK location I need to select default NDK of course and then I need to apply and then I need to click on OK. Okay now that we are done there is no more complaint so now click on app and then go click on file and click on new and here come to folder and click on jni folder okay and then click on finish then it should create for you a jni folder but you will it is not visible here to see this you will have to go to android and then click on project and then click on SQLite, come on app and then source and then main and here you have your JNI. So inside this JNI, you will create two folder with the name include and source. Here in our ID, click on terminal that is on the left side of your screen and then here just ls, okay, ls it and you will see cpp jni so what you will do you will go inside jni now we are inside jni so we don't have any folder here so we will make new two folder okay so for that i am giving a terminal command which is make dire one will be include and other will be source okay and i'll hit enter as soon as i hit enter it will create automatically and when i do ls i'll be able to see two folders here so now first of all i'll go inside include my include is empty now i will move this file 
this all this header file to header file i'll move to this location okay mv is a command line for move and then this is my home directory okay and then inside my home directory i have a download and inside my download when i click on tab i have an option okay so i will go to sqlite i will do star dot h all the file with an h extension will be moved to this current folder current folder is dot so i'll hit enter and i will ls and i can see my uh, my header file being moved here so i will go one step outside of this folder again by doing cd dot dot and when i do ls i see a source now again i will go inside source by doing cd i will ls it's empty then i will follow the same step which i used previously this time i will do c because i need all the source file with the c extension hit enter ls and all the source file are here okay and we can check now we need to go to our c pp and then uh, this is our cmake list so you need to configure c cmake list.txt okay so we'll create a library with a name sqlite right lib sorry okay sqlite lib and then of course it will be we want shared file our source will be shared and then here we want to do dollar and then bracket open bracket close and right here in capital letters c make and you will be able to see here your c make current source dire which is this directory where this c make list.txt okay so put forward slash and then do double dot forward slash which means it will uh, go out of this folder which is cpp and as soon as you go you have an option and that is jni jni java but we want in our case jni so we are doing jni and then inside jni we want this source we do it here source okay and inside source we have two file two source file and that is shell.c and the other one will be the same copy this put it here paste it and replace cell with sqlite 3.c okay now we will arrange this so really for that i hit enter here and then here as well put enter for share enter and then here also enter okay and then here enter so we have our source file now we need an include file so for that we type in include directories okay and here we'll do the almost the same thing but not exactly just copy this paste it here and we go to our include and then here we replace source with include and then we can just give it like this this will be okay include so it will select since it is directories plural it will select all the headers which is inside include okay now we need to link this library with our main library that is natively okay so for that we go to target link libraries here hit enter tap and write in sqlite lib enter and bring it here now go to your bill and then here click on refresh link c++ project so let's see if there is any error let's go to build and there is no error everything is successfully compiled so now do one thing inside this cpp we'll create a file right uh, which is source file okay it's not 
C++, this time we will use C and then we will say gen add data okay so I did okay so we need to add this as well this source I mean this gen and get uh, okay just copy this copy and then we need to mention it in our C make list txt okay for that we go to here okay we need to link this here by adding this way okay sorry okay now i will again sync go by to build and then press and refresh link c plus plus project again okay we are done there is no complaint so this time let's go to our android and then go to app go to c plus plus you can see there are two libraries sqlite lib and native lib right so let's go to native lib and we have this c okay this time it doesn't complain and there is a tick green tick on the right side of the screen you can see okay now we will go to our i have here which i already create program so to make this video short i have uh, kept my code here okay let me not do this way let me go to my mode and then here i have this java code no yeah c code click on that yeah this is the one I will copy this okay and then paste it here right and then remove this so now we will do one thing and that is okay before that we want to go to our main and then here we'll replace this okay and i'll let you know in a moment but let's go to our java and then here i have this code i'll copy the entire thing and then paste it here by replacing this and there should not be problem but there is a problem so click on that and click on option enter okay option enter option enter you have to import okay you have to import all this once you import there will not be any uh, red mark here i think we are done so basically what we are doing uh, let me let you know here we are asking for a permission okay there is a storage permission or you can also check my source code uh, i will be putting up in the github you can collect from there and see yourself okay and then regarding this uh, also basically what we are doing we are creating a table with a name company here okay and then uh, we are also setting the table with the id name age address salary okay and then we are inserting the data inside okay these are the inserting data and then after inserting data we are displaying the data okay this is the part for displaying that so i am doing the three things entirely in one source code okay so after that uh, we also need to go to our manifest and then here we need to add a permission okay users permission external storage read and also we want the external storage write copy this is it I'll replace this with read okay as of now we are done so maybe we can run the app and see I'll just run that and see if it is running installation process is continuing friends if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like share and hit the bell icon for latest notification on the video that I upload App is installed you can see here successfully installed there is no complaint here will successful in one minute zero second so it is asking us for a permission 
will allow it by clicking on the allow okay and then we don't see here anything but when we go here in our lock where is our lock here we will okay info and then we will write sorry it's in small letter sqlite okay and when i write sqlite i can see all the datas okay so you can see here opened database successfully okay callback uh, function called and this is the id for first data second data third data with third id uh, okay so let me just show you the code here you can see here um, is the code okay see it set first what was it see this is our tag sqlite tree and that is the way how i uh, i wrote this uh, how i found out the uh, data okay and then um, sqlite tag and then based on that so it was successful here if it is not successful it would, it would have said can't open database but since it is successful it is open database successful see you can see this one opens data successful and then it created after creating uh, here record created successfully it said again here this is the last one record created successfully and the data which is showing is this one this line of code okay this code okay this callback this callback let me show you here uh, this is the callback okay which the data is being displayed serially okay and these are the data these are the data which are being displayed you can see here poll number one where is it you can see poll h okay this is how we do in uh, C with Android Studio, okay? So why we do it? Because uh, C is faster than Java or Kotlin and the response is very fast or uh, that is the benefit of using uh, SQLite in C, okay? So C, even I do not use any thread here without using any thread, it, it got me the data. Whereas in JavaScript, you have to write tons of line of codes to do all this okay but actually this is a basic basic uh, way of uh, coding in c actually you should have used here your uh, encrypt your data okay and decrypt when you want to display that way you can secure it let me show you here my data where it was stored see i will just open this and then go to file okay and then here you should have a name in the download you see test.db okay how do you know test.db see i have given the part here okay in the download folder with the test.db that is what we get here okay but you should not place it here in real world you should uh, place it as per recommendation so next see you in the next video tutorial